Hello and welcome to a new episode of the bus a dev nine what dev diary of the bus. Hello and welcome to a new episode of the dev diary of the bus. I'm with Matthias today. Hi Matthias. Hi Fabian, nice to meet you. Matthias, today we've got some super exciting news for any the bus fan. We've got the biggest announcement. I recall we. Did talk about once Coach Bus, so known as Fan Bus Simulator, was released, and we finally can talk about that today. But first of all, let's actually have a small recap about the yeah current situation. We just had the Gamescom, and we had a stunning version of the bus at the Gamescom where people could actually play it. But many of the people been not around at Gamescom. Do you want to give a small overview what, about what was new in that version? Yes, at the Gamescom, uh, we have shown the current beta version of uh, the bus, including the new Atron system, uh, the board computer, um, and uh, the new um, displays at the uh, bus stops. And um, at the Gamescom, we also uh, shown the new Line 300, uh, 300 uh, in Berlin, which we will uh, release soon and the new uh, um, electronic bus, um, the Ezitaro. Yeah, yeah. So some really great things. A few things people could already touch at home. Basically, the new Artron you mentioned and the new uh, uh, announcement signs on top of uh, where you actually see once the next bus, what time the next bus will arrive, but also line 300 and especially the Citaro been a really, really huge thing, which been like amazing, incredible. And uh, the Citaro is something really special and something really new because it simply got new dynamic, new sounds. It's the first electric uh, bus in the bus, actually. And it's something really, really different. Um, I will m create a new video about that Gamescom version in the upcoming days. So people who've not been at the Gamescom can take a look at it, um, but it's not too far. So Basically, you already said the line 300 is close to be done. It's close to be finalized. Yeah. Um, Matthias, before we hop into the exciting news, give us a date. When can people expect the new patch yeah. and the new line 300? Yes, we want to release the new patch next week. And uh, one week later, at the 15th September, we want to release the line 300. Cool, so people don't need to wait any longer to get their hands on line 300. They can watch it in the upcoming video, but later on next week they already can start playing. Oh, actually in two weeks they can hop on and play it. Um, but enough talking about line 300, buses, games, comms, etc. Now let's talk about the serious stuff. Matthias, <laughs> modding tools. The modding tools are finally yeah. close to be done. People are close to get their hands on and we've got some footage about that and we're gonna talk today about the street modding and in a later on video we're gonna talk about buildings and so on and also there will be tutorials and all that kind of stuff but today we decided to focus on the street modding so give us a short overview how will the modding tools look like and what is actually about street modding street creation <laughs> yes um when we will release the modding tools, the first step, um, you will be able to create new cities, new maps for the bus. Um, and in this uh, first step, it will include a new uh, street tool. Um, so you can um, create a new map and then download a satellite mesh directly in the Unreal Editor and start building um, streets without any external tools. So you can uh, build your, um, your streets and uh, your um, sidewalks, etc. Right. Sidewalks, uh, you know, and, <laughs> and um, the street markings all in the editor. So the Unreal Editor. Basically, to my understanding, as a complete noob to modding, etc., I will don't go download the free Unreal Editor the, from the Epic Store. Then 
integrate your tool set into it and boom i can like select the city like let's go for paraborn where i'm based actually and uh, select the point on that map then the the yeah, Bing map will load into the Unreal Editor and I can simply drag and draw streets over these images. Yes, kind of, yeah. Kind of, um, I mean, it's now really <laughs> explained in a really basic thing. I mean, you need to draw splines and all that stuff, but for the basic understanding, that's the workflow, right? Yeah, and right. Uh, I cannot just do that for streets. I can do that for sidewalk, um, well, grass areas or uh, areas with trees, etc., etc., uh, bicycling uh, ways on the sidewalk, etc., etc. Um, uh, so I create a 2D version of my hometown, of a town I want to recreate. But um, that's only the first step, I believe, Matthias, because... I've got the ground layout now. Um, how about you already said it? I can also paint like street uh, signs and all that stuff. But more important will be AI because I don't want to drive in an empty Paderborn. I want to have AI vehicles, but I also want to have my bus routes. Can I create these also in the editor? Sure. Um, we have a spline system um, for the AI. You can uh, create splines and uh, the AI, AI will um, drive on them. And um, these splines also uh, paint uh, markings on the on the street, so you can see where um, vehicles are driving. Ah, really, really cool. So I can simply draw a line, and AI vehicles will follow that line. So I don't need to find any complex like AI situations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, yeah, last but not least, if I think about a, two, uh, w about a map without buildings right now, something is missing because U-Bahn stations, subway stations are a huge thing in Germany, but also like other holes and stuff like that. Can I create them yeah. also or do I need to model them so somehow? Um, if you have special meshes, you have to model them in external tools, um, but you can uh, create uh, holes uh, we have modifiers to to uh, create um, to to lower the uh, the sidewalk uh, where it is needed or to create holes in in them uh, where you can include other meshes um, so it's a lot of possibilities really really cool so you're gonna bring a whole library of materials textures and all that stuff for yeah. people free to use so basically i could create a kind of semi realistic Paderborn without any 3D modeling skills, I believe. Yeah, um, But the most important thing is still I can add own 3D models. So if I go for like the capital buildings or like POEs in Paderborn, I can simply 3D model them in Blender, download them somewhere. Keep in mind, uh, there's a legal situation about downloading these 3D assets <laughs> um, and put them into the Unreal Editor and use them, right? So I don't rely just on your objects. I can add own objects as well. Yeah, you can use all tools of the default Unreal Engine Editor too. R really cool. I'm really, really looking forward to create my own custom map and see how I f completely fail and how horrible it is compared <laughs> to your Berlin. Um, there's to say Berlin can't be um, changed right now, so you can't add another parts to Berlin at the current state. It's fully yeah. focused on other cities. It's fully focused on other basically countries, so it's not just limited to, to Germany. You can also create Paris or something like that if you're likely to do that. Sure. Um, just a small overview about the building structure. As I said, we're going to talk about that in an upcoming video more in depth, but there will be like a sandbox system, like a brick system to create cast, uh, simple buildings, right? Um, yeah. So basically, I can add different face facades and all that stuff to buildings to my need. Uh, so I don't need to model every building my own if I'm not like, oh, these buildings are in second row or something like that. They are likely to be used that way. Yeah, so it's a lot of possibilities with the, the house tool. Um, a lot of uh, houses of uh, the Lines 300 is also built with these <coughs> tools. Cool, cool, cool. Um, 
Matthias, last but not least, there's the biggest question of, I created the map my own now, I created a 2D map, I edit after our next dev diaries the buildings, how will people be able to publish their own maps and how can I get your map? Yeah, um, when you build a map in the Unreal Editor, there's a button where you can uh, start the build process. So um, the editor files will be uh, converted to a playable um, file, will be packed to one file, and um, then you can start the game on Steam, and you are able to activate the mod in the game and uh, play it and also upload it from the game to the steam workshop so basically there's not much to do publish try uh, or build try and then publish via steam workshop and i can download yeah. your map for example then via steam workshop and leave a rating or give more information about it etc etc really really cool i'm really really looking forward what this will bring as new content to the bus because i can just think of if I think of other bus simulator like Omzi, how these modding tool actually brought us like thousands of maps, uh, billions of maps where people can enjoy your great bus simulator on. Um, let's drop a few more dates. Um, let's not st actually start with a modding editor. Um, dropping this date, we're gonna talk about quite soon. But let's talk about um the EZ Taro. You already dropped the date for the upcoming patch next week, but also for the line 300 on the 15th of September. How about the EZ Taro? Will it be out this year or are you gonna need more time for that one? I think we will release it this year, uh, but we don't have an actual date now. So that gonna be followed in the upcoming dev updates or whatever, and yeah. people will get noticed about that. And it will come out this year, really, really cool. Um, so moving forward to the modding tools, there's one big step left, actually. Um, the bus and all your other games are currently based on Unreal 4, and this year there was like every gamer, I believe, took notice about these cool and uh, yeah enchantments, the Unreal 5 that came out. Um, how about Unreal 5? Yes, we are working um, since months to update to the Unreal Engine 5 and uh, the next beta update will be in Unreal Engine 5. So it uh, will be very soon. So basically shifting to Unreal 5 with um, the bus starting, other products will follow later on. Um, let's quickly talk about the Unreal 5 um, transition because um, you mentioned one uh, once you have a plan for that basically you want to start really easy and move forward based on that yeah the first step is uh, just the upgrade to the new engine and it should feel and work like the old version that's our um, our goal so um, we will update to the Unreal Engine 5 and later, if it's uh, all working, we will use new features uh, and... Um, Enchanted, basically. Possibilities. Yeah, so basically the update will first come. People shouldn't notice any different, not performance-wise, might not graphic-wise, also drive dynamics, because a big thing is like the new physics engine in Unreal 5, which you needed to adjust to. And that's why we're rolling out it in the beta. So people can first try it and feedback us, is it really as good as the old version, or do we need to adjust anything on that one? Um, so that's why it's coming out at beta and gives you guys time at TML to adjust these things. Um, so once we move to be, uh, Unreal 5 and that version is stable, let's jump back to the modding tools. Do you want to give an estimation on when people can get their hands on that one? Yes, our goal is to release the modding editor in December this year. So just before Christmas, people can get their hands on and can create their own first maps at Christmas time, at Christmas holidays, so they got some time to spend on that one. I'm really, really, really hungry for new content and for the bus. It's still a few months, but not as long as people would expect it, I believe, because it was really silent about the modding tools. Well, Matthias, I'm 
super exciting for what people will create first. So definitely leave in comment which city are you looking forward to create at the start once you get your hands on the modding tools or if you're not capable of what people should create first. Um, Matthias, anything we missed for today? I think it was a lot of information now and um, I think it's all. Yeah, I think, also think we covered it all. Well, um, f uh, I'm super happy that you g gave us this announcement finally about the modding tools. People definitely should leave in the comments their, yeah, their most looking forward city in the bus. Um, also feel free to like and subscribe. Matthias, thanks for your time. Thanks for your time. Then see you soon in the next dev update. Bye bye. Bye.